ladies and gentlemen, now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 65.8. He's 21, stands 5'9". He fights out of Ace MMA and hails from South Shields, Aaron Boy Wonder Givens. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 65.8. He's 21, stands 6'1". He fights out of Heat Squad Hall and Asylum Valley Judo and Hills from Hull and is the current AFC featherweight champ, George Star Killer Stains. Your referee, Mr. Trevor Mitchell. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The amateur featherweight title match we've all been waiting for. Aaron Gibbons fighting out of the red corner. The black shorts trimmed with yellow. He represents Ace MMA. And Ace MMA own a load of the belts here at Almighty Fighting Championships. But he's taking on arguably the best prospect in European MMA at the moment, and that's George Staines, the hit squad hull AVT man. He's in the black shorts trimmed with the orange. Big shots from Aaron. But look at the striking oh. of George Staines. Fainting beautifully from the outside straight away. Lands a nice head kick. Now looking to work his wrestling game. Sucks the legs out from Aaron Givens. And this is great matchmaking again by the almighty fight team. Aaron Givens 10 and 3. George Staines 8 and 0. And jo the thing about George Staines is his cardio is such a weapon. He can keep a ridiculously high pace on you for five rounds and he won't get tired. And he has a habit of making great fighters look average. Oh, uh, ridiculously so. Do you remember when we watched him fight Ben Wallace? Ben oh. Wallace being, you know, glory kickboxer, professional kickboxer, really well known on the world stage. Made him look average. Yeah, took him down. Didn't look like he'd had five rounds. any combat experience at all. But nice knee on the exchange from Aaron Givens. He's, again... The f matchmakers here found an opponent not here just to make up the number. Someone that's really going to test George Staines. Oh, Aaron wants this fight. He doesn't look at these fights like everyone else looks at these fights. He, he sees every single fight as an opportunity to fight the best and to gain experience. He told Combat Sport Media UK before the fight that he thought that uh, th this was really just an opportunity to fight one of the best in the country. He's not necessarily too, too fussed about wins or losses in the amateur career, which is oh. exactly how you should think about it. But George Staines oh, punishing him with huge knees. knees to the body. This is vicious from George Staines. So high variant, low calf kick. And George, oh, that hand so that landed as the well. Accuracy He's doing it. just. Knees to the body again. And look at no quitting Aaron, Aaron Givens. Givens hammered away to the midsection, but George Staines. Aaron refusing to go down. Oh. Nice left hook to a right straight. And then George in on the single. It, he mit Again, it's MMA for a reason. And George Staines absolutely embraces that. Oh, he's opened up a cut oh, now. He's just Givens. heavy, heavy oh, shots. He's Aaron Givens has rolled under for a knee bar, but and he's got a bad cut on it. his eyebrow. He's not going to get the knee bar. No, George Staines too heavy on his hips. Too much of a solid base. And, oh, that was a heavy, heavy shot landing now. And this is what I mean. The pace has been relentless from George Staines. We're we have 30 seconds remaining, and it's been go, go, go from the and, opening bell. And belt. he's just landing almost at will. He looks so composed, so calm. He looks over at his dad in the crowd, nods his head. As if to say, what do you think of this, Pops? Gets a big got, thumbs up. Just got to be wary of those up kicks now. It's one round in the bag. Hey, gives him the point. I mean, he is something special, he, this kid. Absolutely. Got to be careful he doesn't get his knee hyperextended. Good, strong first round from George Staines. How game is Aaron Givens, though? Well, again... He's not 10 and 3 for yeah. for a reason. He's not fighting mugs and bums. And he didn't look to wilt for a second. He went down, but only because he was trying to submit George with a knee bar. Really impressive work there from Aaron Givens, the 12th ranked featherweight in the UK. George Staines looks like he's fighting with a little bit of extra spice in his fight tonight. Yeah, he does seem to be a little... And I think a little bit of a reason for that might be that Aaron Givens has a win over one of uh, George's former teammates, Lucas France. Well, nothing, nothing better than a bit of revenge for the team. And right now, it's, look at those knees to yeah. the midsection. Lovely. And there was a little bit of speculation about George Staines coming into this fight, that he was recovering from illness. I think he had a hypoglycemia or something like that before his last. He had to take, he was five, bedridden for five weeks. Had to take a lot of time off. 
But you can't tell. <laughs> you no, can't tell. And he's still the happiest guy in the room. Round two of a potential five. George Staines, black shorts trimmed with orange, the ABT man. But Aaron the, Givens, the black. Look at the distance management of George Staines, so though. Look at the feints. Givens. Sees everything coming. Trying to stay active. Just in and out. He moves just so well, the Staines. Yeah, he's impossible to hit. I mean, Aaron's done well to land as much as he has, to be honest. Oh, Aaron's. Oh, lovely one, too. Oh. And another. George Staines just walking his man down. This might be oh. the most mature I've seen George look. He yeah, doesn't look like an overexcited teenager anymore. He just looks like a killer. No, in on that deep double, just picks him up and dumps him down. And George doing whatever he wants. Striking, grappling. Oh, trying to tie up the neck, is he? Well, he's got a lethal guillotine. We've seen him put great fighters like Marlon Jones to sleep with that guillotine. Yeah, I forgot about that. Marlon right. Jones, another one of the very best in the country. I mean, he's got an incredible number. We were talking about Teddy Stringer before. He's got Teddy Stringer on his record. Yep. He's got Dan Mins, Marlon Jones, Bronson Price, Ben Wallace. He's fought everybody, and now he's trying to add Aaron Givens to that long list of names. But I, you know, I might be speaking out of turn, but I can't remember the last time I gave anybody a round against George Staines. No. If they last that long. Often they get put to sleep before they have the chance. Oh, it's just chipping away. It's, it's relentless. He's not even breathing heavy, though. This is the thing. It, you're not ready to fight this guy. He, he's so many levels above even some of the pros in the country yeah. right now. He wants to turn pro in 2023. He could have turned pro in 2020. He could have turned pro in 2019, I think. Yeah, this guy's been at the top of this division for a long oh. time, and we're seeing why. Aaron Givens is not a chump. No, and, and this is it, and right now it has been all one-way traffic, and it is no disrespect to Aaron Givens, but it's just a testament to how well the hit squad Hall and AVT have done in prepping George Staines. But he's unique. He's a, he's a phenom. You know, this is guy, a, a guy who just lives, breathes this sport. He's got a dedication that's unreal. He doesn't, he doesn't seem to suffer from anxiety. I've spoken to him before fights, and he's genuinely calm, chill as a cucumber. I mean, I thought Aaron Givens there for a moment, looking to bring that guard up high, looking to threaten with something, but Staines wind to it. And that's what, again, you got to give Givens all the respect in the world. He's not capitulating under this. Not even a little bit. You know, both of these guys are going to be competing in the Four Nations because they're both the best in the country, you know? But this is the difference between, the, you know, the best of the best and one of the best. George, again, just finishing the round crushingly on top. I mean, look, but let's see if he's breathing heavy, even a little bit. Oh, no, he's fresh. <laughs> he's fresh as a daisy. Unbelievable. But again, considering what Aaron Givens has had to weather over the last six minutes, there's a man that doesn't look like he's been on the hard end of a two-round fight so far. I mean, face a little bit marked up, but... Again, a great, great corner there. Superman, Josh Hawk. I mean, I know Aaron Givens said, you know, before coming into this fight that he, he's not focused on the wins and the losses. He's focused on fighting the best guys he can. And that is definitely the best approach to it. But you hear that and you think, oh, he's just in here for the show. But then you see how much of a fight he's putting up and he genuinely just loves to fight and wants to fight the best guys. Really impressive work from Aaron Givens, but just George Staines, it's another level. Oh, asking him to check the time, hurrying him up. So Aaron Givens, George Staines, round three. Aaron Givens has got to find a way to change the recipe here a little bit. George so calm and relaxed. Lots of feints and faking from Givens who... I mean, those kicks are just so sneaky. He throws them up so quickly. Throws them behind punches. And again. Question mark kicks. And then works behind that long straight hand. And it's never gonna stop. It's just oh. gonna rain on you all night. Cause he can do 10 rounds if he needs to. 
and you, you often you feel uh, a little nervous sometimes when you comment on how good a guy's cardio is because sometimes they can they can make you look a fool later on and get tired. I'm I'm not even a little bit worried no, with George Staines. He just keeps changing it up. He, he comfortable on his feet. He gets in on the clinch. Again, given. Givens all the credit in the world, not just capitulating. He's making Staines really work for this takedown. But he eventually ends up on top. Oh, and short little damaging shots there. I mean, it's unfortunate for Aaron because he's such a great fighter, and George is just not giving him any space or time to show any of that. You know, the only the only positives we can really give to Aaron in this fight is just how well he's enduring George's offense. George looks very comfortable at the weight as well. I mean, he's he's ranked number one from featherweight to welterweight. <laughs> I can't think of anyone who's no. ever done that. Champ, 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 champ. I he, think if, <laughs> even Curtis Campbell doesn't want to go all the way up to welterweight. No. Unreal. Stains now. Happy to embrace the grind a little bit. Forces man up against the cage. Look for position to land some short shots. Teddy Stringer said in an interview before this fight that he would like to face, face George again. Looks like they're, if it's going to happen, it'll happen at pro, seeing as they're both turning pro in 2023. But that is a rematch I wouldn't mind seeing. Oh, absolutely. That's a tasty fight at any level. But mm hmm Perhaps a... Uh, Probably deserving of yeah. a, a much bigger venue and audience, though. I'd like to, if they go at it, I'd like it to be in, I'd like it to be at Cage Warriors or UFC level. I'd like it to be at the next step up. Although George did oh. say he wants to make his pro debut in AFC. Oh, he, brilliant. Yeah, I mean, he says that he wants to, you know, he, <laughs> it was hilarious. He told Combat Media UK that uh, he knows he could go into Cage Warriors right now, get five wins and fight for a title. But he, he just wants a little bit more time to, to grow his skills before he does that. So he wants to have a few fights on AFC or smaller promotions and then go to Cage Warriors. And but the confidence of the kid to be like, I can fight for a Cage Warriors title now. I know I can, and I'd win. Three, another three minutes in the books, and George Staines has just been his smothering, bruising, nasty best. Uh, but let's be, you know, he's wearing some of it as well. Oh, Aaron Givens has hit him more than he's been hit in a, in a fair few of his fights put together, you know? Aaron Givens is put on a really good performance, even though it's been one-sided and dominant from George. Well, we'll see if now we're in the business end of this amateur title contest, rounds four and five. What can Givens do what can to Givens change do things up? The thing, like... I don't think there's anything that his corner can tell him that's going to make up for this skill difference. I think his best chance to win at this point is to go for broke and try and take George out. All right. He's not going to win a decision. He's three rounds down. The seconds are cleared. Round four. He's got to go for it. But going for it against someone as good as George Staines is a lot easier said than done. Somebody over in the corner or somebody in the crowd just found George. You got three 10 eights, nothing to worry about. I mean, yeah. I mean, they've Could all be. been clearly for George. If a 10 9 is a close round and a 10 8 is an easy round to score, they, they've been easy rounds to score. Aaron Givens going for a spinning wheel kick there. George just piles the pressure on him, though. Yeah, he, he just backs him. Look at this. Four, four strike combination there, and then he just comes back for more. Yeah. And Givens so game. Dances out of the way when Givens responds. Just hard to land a glove on. Gets the gets, gets the underneath the hips. And down he goes. Now right in front of us. Aaron Givens is trying to get back up to his feet. <laughs> and Hello, he's George. Pitch. He's enjoyed himself as George. <laughs> Giving the commentary team a bit of a bit of showboat there. Givens though gets to his knee, tries to get that shoulder and back to the cage. Let's see if George tries to work some of his ground and pound now. He's going to frame on the face. Is he attacking the neck? Pass into side control. Maybe he's going to give you some of those knees that you love. Well, but again. Oh, he's nearly put himself into a triangle here, though. Wait, again, Aaron Steps Givens. You cannot sleep on Aaron Givens. 
He's thrown it up, but I think George is well, out of gonna, trouble here now. Aaron's going to go for broke. He knows he's down three rounds. George just steps over now. Just stays heavy. George is like a wet blanket on top. It's so smothering. Doesn't give you any space. I didn't mean now he's landing shoulder strikes. The corner telling him we can take mount whenever we want. Yep. Pushing down on that head and then landing the hammer fist. But this is, okay, now this, this is, is mean. A, now this is a thing. You see how he was framing there and then went for the hammer fist? He's practicing for elbows. Yes, yeah. He's practicing for when he turns pro in a title fight. And there as well. Yeah, he's, he's not trying to land oh, effective hammer fists. These ones are starting fist. to get through. He's practicing for when he turns pro. I'm sorry, but that's blown my mind. Because that's not an effective technique at amateur. Good. Gibbons trying to scramble here. I love the fact there is absolutely no quit in this kid whatsoever. Oh, wow. Look at these hammer fists. Relentless. Relentless from oh, George. These are landing good. clean. If George piles it on here, he could earn a finish. But Aaron Gibbons isn't going to capitulate. Aaron Gibbons has got to turn back into George. He's got to try and... I think we're about to see... Yeah, just smothering work here from... From George Stains. But Gibbons keeps moving, keeps scrambling around. He's he's gonna give himself three more minutes to win this fight. <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty sure that came through the mic. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> George and Aaron there again. Well, what? this is a brand new experience for me. I haven't had a fighter talk to me or, or, or communicate with me quite as much as George Staines has done in that last round. No, it's, it, it, <laughs> but again, it shows you that in his mindset, he is yeah. absolutely in control. He's practicing his elbows for yeah, pro, he's by, but not up. elbowing. I know. <laughs> he's, got, he's posting and then dropping the, the hammer fist instead of the elbow. And this I, is only the ninth fight of his amateur career. It just boggles your mind. He's something special. There's no other way of saying yeah. it. He's something special. But Aaron Givens, still here, still in it. Has three minutes now. George is calling for the ref to hurry up yeah, and get his wants, team out of the corner because he's giving him too much of a break. <laughs> this guy's insane. He's, he's been pushing the pace <laughs> so hard for the last four rounds, and now he's pressuring the ref. Oh, but look at this. Aaron Givens having none of it. He says, if you want it, you can come and get it. Let's Good. go. Three more minutes. I'm so excited for this. I hope they solve this on the feet. I, I gotta tell you, I'm more than happy for this to go the full five. Aaron, watch Aaron. some shake hands afterwards, and then I can tell Aaron Givens that he's one of the toughest son of a guns I've ever seen. Aaron knows what people are saying in the audience. Aaron knows what people are saying at home. They know that he's they're saying how good of a job George Staines has done, and he just showed at the beginning of that fifth round, nah. No, no, no. I'm, I'm still, still here. in this. And and he has to go a little bit hell for leather. He's got one round to do so. Two minutes and 24 seconds for Aaron Givens to turn this fight around. Pushing down on the head, trying to... If anyone's game enough to do it, he is, but George Staines... Yeah, once he gets a hold of you. He's working this body lock pass really nicely. Looking to maybe try and get the Kimura, but no. Going, look like he might be thinking about the head and arm. It was for him up to it. Is posting off again, pushing down on it. And you could, yeah. Just waiting for him to drop that little elbow in. It's so... Only six months to wait. I don't know if, if it's funny or I don't know if I'm impressed. Oh, I'm he's on the arm. No. Oh, no, he doesn't have he doesn't have it in the right spot. It might, um, he might be going for a, an arm, like a straight arm bar, but I don't think Aaron's going to tap to that. His, arm, his hand's not close enough to his body. Aaron's got his hand fully extended. George has got to bring that wrist close to his body. And again, you see how George is holding onto it with his fingers? <laughs> the, the advice is coming out of the AVT hit squad, hit squad hall corner. George takes the time to look and go, I can't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> look at the head pressure that George is applying. Yeah, I mean. Just makes it horrible for you in every position. Makes it uncomfortable, makes it suck. And it's an absolute pleasure to watch him work. And yeah. He calls back to his corner, says it's all good. <laughs> Looking at one minute left. 
of what has been just a smackdown from George yeah, Staines. Yeah, George Staines. Go oh! oh! He's done nope. the hook. Nah, no, changed my mind. He was going to have just hitch instead. I mean, his, his control, his power, his cardio. Speed, combinations, the feints, the distance control, the footwork. I can't fault him. I'm not, I don't know enough to be able to effectively fault him at this point. And I love the fact that Givens, despite the fact this has been four rounds, almost finishing the fifth, he is still. Oh, he's going for a knee bar still here. Still looking. He doesn't have still any leg control Still trying to find a it. finish. No leg control on that knee bar. It's not going to have any dice. But he's looking. And he's going to see out this fight. What a game, guys, Aaron Givens. What a... What a performance. I love the fact. Championship only. <laughs> Championship only, yeah? Yeah. Aaron Givens, nothing to hold his head down about. The one MMA man came in and he came to fight. He came to make it a contest. But George Staines, what can you say about this young featherweight? We won't see him challenged until he's had a few fights at pro. We won't. He... At, and when he gets there, are people ready for it? Well, he thinks he can win a Cage Warriors title today. I mean, Joseph McColgan is the lightweight champion at the moment. I'd love, I'd love him to just start calling everybody out there. Time not to be a nice guy. Time to start yeah. going, I want your belt and your belt and your belt. Because mm -hmm. right now, I don't believe anyone could stop him. I want to see him and Curtis Campbell. <laughs> I want to see him and Curtis Campbell. I want the Pig Panther yeah. and, and the Star Killer. I wouldn't mind seeing. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing him but and Teddy like, again. Like I wouldn't mind. Oh, yeah. I, Cotier. We saw Cotier yeah. earlier today. This division is so stacked. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it from Steve Cook Abbott and Trent Baxendine. This is our main event, and Mr. Seth Khan will make it official. We will see you next time, which ain't so too far away, June 25th from the Rayton Arena in Hoofton Le Spring. Let's turn it over to Mr. Seth Khan for the last time to make this one official. Fighters to the center of the cage, please. Fighters to the center of the cage. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, after five hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard, who score it 50 45, 50 44, and 50 42 for your winner, and still, the AFC featherweight champion, George Staines. Please show your appreciation for Aaron Givens.